In this video, I will show you how to use the user-defined function and simply copy the VBA code from my website. And then click on Developer tab and then the Visual Basic button. And here you can see the workbooks that are open. And this is my workbook. And to use the code, you need to right click on your workbook and then go to insert and then module and now this windows window opens and paste the code there and now you can use the user defined function and the name of it the name is VBA V lookup. So copy that and then go back to your workbook or worksheet. Click on a cell and go to the formula bar and type equal sign and then paste the name of the user defined function and a beginning parenthesis and the first argument is the lookup value so click on B3 and then comma and then the data set and this user defined function looks in the first column for the lookup value just like the usual the lookup function in Excel. And then a comma again, and I want it to return the corresponding value from the second column. So type two in the third argument, and then an ending parenthesis. And now this is an array formula, so hold Control and Shift, Press and hold Control and Shift, and then press Enter once. And now extend it to cells below and repeat. And here are the values apple and lemon, because both is equal to France here. You can also return values horizontally. And to do that, I'm going to look for France and Italy in this data set here. And then equal sign and the user defined function. And the first lookup value is this. And the data set is this cell range here and I want that to be absolute like this so click on it and press function key F4 to convert the relative cell reference to an absolute cell reference and the third argument is 2 and here is an optional argument and if you don't enter the third, fourth argument eh, the user defined function will use the default value and in this case I want the values to appear horizontally so I'm going to type H here and then an ending parenthesis and now press Control Shift and Enter. 
and now extend the array formula to the next cell and repeat. You can now copy the array formula simply by click and hold on the black dot here and then drag down. And this, since we used a relative cell reference in the first argument, this will change when we copy the formula to cells below. And in this case, it uses the lookup value in cell I3. And in the next cell, the formula uses I4 here as the lookup value and you can see here that Italy is as the banana value and down here it has the orange make sure that you save the workbook with the file extension xlsm so that the user defined function works the next time you open the same workbook and the file extension looks like this and this means that it is the workbook is a macro enabled workbook